Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I just got back from going on a one-hour walk. I didn't do any running today. Um, I, I had a, uh, just decided the last couple of times that I wanted to just walk. When you're, when you're 45 years old, and you, if you've done any running in your past, which I've done a lot of running in my past, you tend to have things that start hurting, whether it's a hip or a knee, or different things and, and after a while you finally start to come to the conclusion that maybe you're getting old and it's time to hang up the running part or either start biking or swimming I think swimming is probably ultimate ultimately better for all of us than anything but it's one of those things that it's hard to go out and just get get up the get up and go to go do that every day uh, I feel like walking is something I can actually keep up so that's where we're headed um, Okay, Justin Sun um, had said, for those of you that don't know, this is the founder of Tron. Now, I, in, in full disclosure, I don't own any Tron anymore. I, I, all I own is, um, I own a little bit of BTR. I have tons of, uh, a good amount of XRP, and then I've got some Bitcoin, and I've got some Cardano, and that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> Tron, I believe, is going to have to do what he's talking about here and able to start getting some traction. And I think they probably ultimately will. He says, yes, it is our prior number one priority now. We have a full team, including me, dedicated to this matter. We will get all these things done with Tron Speed, TRX. Um, and what he's talking about is this is um, in reference to them getting on Coinbase. And I think this is also talking about um, the Binance USA, uh, Binance's USA exchange that's coming online. Um, they had, Binance had sent out a tweet or a, or a Medium article yesterday where they were showing the, the digital assets that they will think about um, adding to their platform and Tron was not one of them as I recall. So, but I think that it'll go a long way for him if he, does, if he is able to get him on those exchanges. Um, interesting tweet from Bank, Bank XRP. Ripple's Ashish Birla confirms MoneyGram is using XVIA. Also stated that we do not have a formal relationship with SAP today. Interesting thread. And this is the thread that he's tweeting out. <clears throat> um, someone says um, to Ashish Birla, I would like to ask you something. What does MoneyGram use to access RippleNet? XCurrent or XVIA? He says XVIA. And then people come in and start asking him other questions. Is, that, is XVIA how legacy systems can will connect to RippleNet. Pretty much, usually for originator sender of payments, makes it easy and streamlined to get up and running. Thank you for your response. This is basically how companies handling supplier invoicing through SAP products could use XRapid2. Is that a correct line of thinking? That's the idea. We do not have a formal relationship with SAP today, however. Thank you. So. That's a pretty interesting exchange there. That is, it's great when we can find out information like that that we would not otherwise get. <clears throat> um, let me have a drink of water here. Okay, I'm almost out of water. Um, from Cryptopolis, this is um, at Cryptopolis underscore X. Um, I, had, I featured, I think, one of his tweets about how there was a, a bunch of XRP that had been moved recently. And so he copied me on this and he says, regarding the 380 million XRP moving recently, a lot of those went to the Triple Dice Exchange wallet address. And here's the wallet address that it went to. It's a Japanese exchange. He says, are we awake yet? Now, in full disclosure here, I, I do not know what the Triple Dice Exchange is. Let's look at it. I, I don't, I've never heard of this. And so I don't even know exactly um, what he's getting at here, what this exchange is about. It's, it's mydicewallet.com, uh, but and it's if it'll load here. I don't know what exactly this is. He says it's a Japanese exchange. Um, it looks like a decentralized exchange from what I can tell, but and it looks like it's out of Singapore maybe. 
but I don't know what this is and I don't know the significance of it. So maybe he'll fill us in and when he does, I will uh, let you know. Um, Mr. B XRP at XRP Mr. said something once again. I, I, I agree with a lot of what he says. Update on my belief in XRP. I have bought three times in the last three days. I am not fooled by the price, but focused on the partnerships. Hashtag zero doubt. The digital asset investor is with you. Um, and I bought probably, I don't know if it's three times in the last three days, but three times in the last week at least. Um, so yeah, I like it. Now, let me give Alex Cobb some credit here. This is from his website, The XRP Daily. And what he's, what he's talking about in here, this is a XRP holder, stay strong and keep moving forward. Um, what he's talking about is he's showing you a little bit of history. And I always like look showing these types of things to put things in perspective. Now, he, he says, I'd like to show you a long-term weekly logarithmic chart dating XRP price action back to late 2014. And he's talking about how this highlighted portion uh, is an 812 day bear market after hitting an all time high of almost three cents back in 2014. It said once it crashed, it sat at half a penny in value for nearly three years, which was about a minus 96%, like a 96% drop. Um, and he's talking about how there was a lot of negativity and all that in the community, the same, same type thing that's going on. And then he says, um, and that there's a lot of capitulation, da 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 da. A 7,328% parabolic impulse would have been a really bad uh, bad to sell during that time. So uh, at, at, at some point in there, there was a 7,328 parabolic impulse. Um, and then he says, so what happened after the big impulse? He says, a 203 day consolidation phase, which then turned into what? the almighty $3.30 all-time high. And that was basically, um, I guess, going from 20 cents or so, as I recall, don't quote me, it was something like that. But the point here is that uh, now, and then he goes on down here and he says, currently we are in a 574 day bear market for XRP. So the point is folks, this is how it always happens. It, it's, it's like a long span of nothing. And it, and it gets to the point where everybody's getting angry, they're confused, they don't understand why this is happening, and da-da-da-da-da, and then it happens. But the great news for you and for me is that in none of these, I don't care if it was the 812-day bear market, the 203-day consolidation, in none of these did we have anywhere close to the adoption and the actual utility used in commercial use. We didn't have any of this. We didn't have any of it. The place that we are right now, when the, when the next parabolic rise hits, I believe it's going to dwarf all the others. And if it doesn't dwarf it the first time, it'll dwarf it the next time. But it's, that's where we're headed. Okay. Um, okay, from Coinfield, guess what? All X, XRP withdrawals are now free. Coinfield is a Canadian exchange, but it's open to like a bunch of countries so go and see if you're in a country that that is a if you want to get an account you can get free withdrawals of xrp anytime you want now on coinfield that's i think they're coinfield.com then at the anthony pompliano tweeted this just a reminder that there's now 15 trillion dollars of negative yielding debt in the world that is really surreal folks this won't end well and he's exactly right it will not end well then Chinu Patel 29 weighed in and sent me these rhythm trader tweets that I love. There are literally 1900 times more dollars in existence than there was 100 years ago. In 1907, seven billion dollars. A dollar could buy a pair of leather shoes. In 2010, 13.2 trillion dollars <throat> is the way I read that. A dollar could buy a single song on iTunes. Fiat is a race to the bottom. Exactly. And then there's this. Rhythm Trader again. 17 Goldman Sachs traders are facing criminal charges over laundering $4.5 billion. But remember that the Treasury Secretary said the U.S. dollar is not used for nefarious activities and never has been. They say Bitcoin is used by criminals, but it's actually 
our tool against them. <laughs> exactly, again. And then, now this is big news right here. I just saw this today from XRP Crypto. Well, China's central bank digital currency is ready after five years of development. A senior official at, Ch at China's central bank announced at the China Finance 40 group meeting today that the country will soon roll out its central bank digital currency. And this is all while Congress talks about Bitcoin. <laughs> And next, um, the next few things I wanted to show you, I just thought were neat that I saw online. This is from at DAV1700, copied me on it. Woohoo, just reserved my new new plate. The first state, Delaware, XRP Meow. So they're gonna have an XRP Meow. If that's, if that's not an adoption, I don't know what is. And then I saw this from XRP uh, Bart, I guess, and his son. The lad and I are catching up on digital asset investor streams on the way home on the ferry from t from our tour in France. He knows how rich we'll be from our XRP bag as he's been looking at villas to buy. Um, and he says, hashtag my future rich son. Well, I want to give a shout out to XRP Bart and your son and say to you, and they've, you can see the digital asset investor there in the, uh, I guess that's a phone there. But I wanted to tell you that I showed my wife this and she, my wife to this day can't believe that there's people all over the world watching me and I can't either. And so I showed her this picture of you guys and I've got some good news for the young lad as well. The good news is this, even if he ends up looking like this, but I don't think he will, he looks like a good looking kid. But even if he ends up being having a tough time in his older age, there's a good chance with all of his XRP millions that he'll be, he'll be uh, hanging out with tens like this. <laughs> this was from Michael B at XRP. Michael B, give crypto a few more years. You'll be seeing couples like this everywhere. So to XRP Bart and your young lad son, <laughs> I say, yes, your future rich son. And he's, he's also got a bright future with the ladies with all those millions in XRP uh, worth. <laughs> I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And give, XR, give XRP Bart and his young lad um, son a, a shout out. Uh, I thought this was great that they're watching me of all people in France. I see this stuff every day and I'm just like, wow, people are actually watching me. Thank you for listening.